Hey guys, this is Mitchell, one of the Hell Glowers at MyCombatTrainer.com, and today what I'm going to teach you is how to throw a powerful and effective elbow. Elbows are great. They, um, I use them to cut up opponents. I use them to stun them. I, uh, they're a very powerful move and a very sharp edge instead of a fist. And elbows can, can actually withstand a lot more impact than a punch in an average person, guys. So what you want to do when you're throwing any attack, I want you guys to be on a nice solid base, okay? I want you guys to be on the ball of your feet. I want you to be grounded, but still agile to move, but you're grounded, okay? So, next thing I want to do is there's just different elbow strikes, guys. I'm just going to go through. Just kind of give you uh, some more knowledge of them if you don't know how to throw them. Usually when you throw an elbow strike, I want you to grab the head. It's the best thing to know where the head's at when you're throwing it because elbows, guys, okay, look at how, how far my range is from here. This is my range with a jab, guys. I can attack him from here. Uh, pretty even, but if I have to move in to throw an elbow, guys, this is this is the missing range. This is where I gotta be, guys. And guess what? This is trapping range. This is where you wanna be, guys. There's a lot of people who don't know how to fight in the trapping range, guys. Okay, so it's a great move in the trapping range just to stun your attacker and come up with different things. So one strike to do. Put your hand on the back of your attacker's head, okay? Just know where the head's at. This is just connecting, because if a guy just steps back a little bit, it's kind of, I mean, it's such a short move that you have to be in close to it and actually make it effective, guys, okay? So you're going to come here, grab the guy's head any way you can. There's it's just a sense of control. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be in fighting stance normally. And again, guys, all the power is coming from your hips, guys. This is a lot of, this is pretty much the same thing as a hook to the body, guys. It's just bring your elbow up, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit with the with the tip of your elbow, guys. You're not gonna hit with this part. This is a forearm smash. It's not gonna be as powerful. It's gonna still get a reaction, yes, but it's not gonna be like a a cutting move or a very devastating move, okay? This is just kind of more of a, like a smashing motion. This is a whipping slash cutting. It's a devastating move, guys. We'll just say that. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Grab here. Again, hit with here. What you're gonna do is come here. I want you to start generating power from this position right here. You're gonna see my hips are cocked like this. When I rotate through, my hips are gonna be coming up like that. Okay, see how the power is transferring going from my legs up through here, out through here. Okay, so I'm here. Boom, boom. Coming here, guys. I'm still in the base. Boom. Coming here. Okay. Now that's just one way how to throw it. I like that one because I can get. As far as my fighting style, I like to get in the clinch real fast, and I get here, and then all of a sudden, I'm coming here, and I'm throwing knees or something. It's a great move for in the clinch. Anyway, uh, there are, are a couple other elbows I want to show you, though, today, too. So, if you hold behind the head, guys, you bring your elbow up like kind of like an uppercut. This is an uppercut, guys. You bring it up just like an uppercut. You come right underneath the chin, pop their head back. So, again, we're here. We're in a fighting stance, I get here, boom, boom, I bring it up. And it's a really short move. Nobody can really tell it's really coming because you're not coming here. Boom, I'm throwing it up. You're coming here. You're just in a clinch, and all of a sudden, when you just get your elbow down a little bit, all it is is just boom. You bring your elbow up just a little bit, guys. And you see how Bob's, I'm flicking his head, I'm just flicking it. I'm not going. To, a bad way of doing it is like this, guys. Like that, and coming in. A good elbow is when you flick it. You barely flick it. And usually when you practice this, you'll have red marks on, the, on your elbow. It sucks because you have red marks, but uh, it's the proper way. You'll know that you do the proper way how to throw um, an elbow attack, okay? So, again, you flick. When you throw on this one, you come here, you flick the chin. Flick it, guys. Okay, flicking it. I'm not going, I'm not bashing into him, I'm flicking it, okay? Then I come up like this, I'm flicking it there, and this can be real, real small, flick, boom, flick, boom, flick. Okay, so then, there's another one where I like to do too, is when a guy is down like this, and I get him moving around, I like to step out, I'm here, I create the distance here a little bit, I connect here, and I bring my elbow down, boom, on top of his eyelids or his nose, okay? Don't do it too this cranium, guys. Seems like punching your cranium. It's still gonna hurt you. It's not gonna hurt his hip as bad than actually doing this to the nose, guys. So you're here. Boom, step back. Boom. I come here. And you start 
like to angle with this and come back at that. Okay? It's kind of hard with Bob here. I mean, he's not a real person. So, with your attacker, you just be moving his neck around. If you control him in a clinch like a tattoo, you can come around boom like that. Okay? So, this is those, those are three different elbows you can do. These are the three most effective elbows that I've found. Um, so, if you like this, please like it, leave a comment. Go to my comment trainer to learn more. Thank you guys. I appreciate your time.